Hello, my anorexic dolphins. King Cow! It is I, the X. Well, hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon uh, to all you guys. My name is Ripper X. Welcome to uh, my first impressions of Asda 2 Evolution. Uh, it's going to evolve into some awesomeness. I'm very excited. This is a free-to-play MMORPG uh, from what I've gathered so far. So let's uh, jump into the game and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and select the server Tilia. It's the only one we have, so here we go. Okay, we have a couple channels to uh, select from. The more diamonds, uh, the fuller it's going to be. I don't think we need a super full channel. Let's do channel tubes because that's cool. So. Okay, sweet. Okay, well, right off the bat, we get to do some character creation. It's so crazy, like, I just literally jumped right in here, and I love my character. She looks amazing. I'm ready to go. Uh, my only stipulation is the fact that she has construction worker boots on. That's kind of weird. Um, but she has a really cool dress. I'm happy with that. But maybe we'll just hit random a couple times. I see there's a random button here, so we can hit that. Maybe a cool character will just come out, uh, randomly come out. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Let me put my name in real quick. Ripex, that is my name. Okay, Ripper Beans, that's my new name. Ripper Beans Constellation. What is this? Oh, okay. We looks like we can like pick um, can like pick different stuff. I'll just go ahead and do Aries because it's uh, A for awesome. And uh, let's hit random a couple times and see what happens. Ready? Whoa! My lady is so happy. I think she's so happy because her hair is green and she just like must have had an ice cream cone because that's the only type of smile that I can gather from that uh, smile. Super happy ice cream cone smile, so we'll keep that. Now here's uh, here's something that's going to be important for all you guys, right, when we get started. Class preview. So we have a couple different uh, types of classes. Let's click on them and see what happens. Okay, we have a one-hand sword warrior. Looks like they have a well, one-handed sword to start with. They have, also have a shield they use. Uh, obviously, uh, looks like they have some good defense. Um, that's cool. See, uh, looks like uh, also after reaching level 10, you can choose your class through a quest. Oh, cool. So this is a class preview. We can't actually start with any of these classes. At least we get a preview of what we have to come once we hit level 10. What's next? Whoa, crossbow archer. Okay. They have the highest instant damage capability. Very cool. Good to know. Um, also, they have really cool armor. Look at that that helmet. It looks like he, he have like fake eyes. Wow, it has like a diamond thing on the crossbow. I like that. That's cool. Okay, what else we got? Whoa, attack mage! Okay, attack mages specialize in fire and dark magic, allowing them to burn their enemies. Wow, and curse their enemies. Wow, that's cool. It looks like they can hinder uh, healing capabilities as well. Sweet, sassy molassy. Uh, well, my character looks like so happy, but she can't even see, she can't see very well, so I don't know how that's going to work out, but maybe she relies on instinct or something. I love those boots. Those are really cool. Spear warrior! Wow! Okay, this will actually, this is something I could see myself playing here. Spear Warrior specialize in stealth. Cool. Speed and critical attacks. What more do you want? You have it all. Stealth, speed, and critical attacks. I'm totally going Spear Warrior once they hit level 10. Uh, they can also hinder their movement on the enemy from... Wow, that's cool. I like that. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, bow Archer. Okay, Bow Archers have strong study damage with their traps, range, speed, and defense, ignoring bleeds. Okay, cool. Um, not a big fan of the hat, though. I feel like I'm in Aladdin 3, but whatever. Healing Mage! I'm not a healing class, but that's really good to know. Got here. Two-handed Sword Warrior. Wow, that's cool. I like uh, how my armor's like dark, and then my sword's super light. But then again, once I get into the PvP in this game, there is PvP in this game. There's crazy faction PvP. That's why I'm playing this, because I love PvP. But again, first impressions of Asda 2. Again, just checking out, uh, checking out class preview here. And we have one more class to preview. What's this? Ooh, support mage. Again, not a big support class, um, but that's kind of cool. Something with my character's face. She just, she just makes me smile. I'm telling you, she just makes me smile. I gotta say, she's slightly anorexic though. She might need to um, eat a little bit more food or something. So, anyways, um, okay. I guess we're gonna create a class again. I can't really pick. If I had a choice, I would probably do spear warrior. But again, uh, we don't have a choice yet. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. Hey, she's waving at me. Hello. Ripper Beans! Okay, well, let's get into the game officially. My name is Ripper X. This is First Impressions of Asda 2 for MMORPG.com. Let's go ahead and click on Go. Ready? Go. 
Okay, well, we are in the starter town of Alpen. Uh, it could be related to Aspen. Who knows? Um, right off the bat, uh, wow, okay, left click to, it looks like I can left click to kind of move around as well. I believe WASD, let's see what happens if I do WASD. Sweet, so I have a choice, WASD to move, or my mouse, which is great. Wow, okay, uh, and then obviously my right mouse button is going to kind of give me my camera angle, which is awesome. Now, what the heck is going on here? My instructor, Nimi, has like a question mark above her head. Uh, reminds me of uh, this one game on the Nintendo. Let's see if we can maybe get uh, something magical out of Hello? Okay, is that copyright infringement? I don't know. Maybe, the, uh, who knows? That's weird. Okay, well, let's go ahead and talk to instructor Nimi. Maybe she has a quest for us. Let's see what happens. Oh, I double clicked on her. Okay, here we go. You're a new face, Ripper X. What's your name? Ripper Beans is my name. Hello? Welcome to Alpen. My name is Nimi. I am part of the Royal Knights, and I'm responsible for providing help to newcomers. Okay, she says it's very commonly known that there are many monsters in this area. Monsters are usually tame, so the kingdom didn't pay much attention to them. But recently, they have been attacking our residents. Uh, okay, we're investigating the reason why. It could be something in the water, uh, but we need to reduce the number of monsters in that area. So Ripper Beans has... I have come to their rescue. I'm about to. We'll see what happens. Uh, again, uh, first request is to go out and to the north of the town and kill five young wolves. Okay, what a surprise. Wolves get a really bad rap in most online games. Let's go ahead and click I will go. And we have received this quest. It looks like, okay, it looks like for our rewards, 200 gold. That's actually really not too shabby for the first quest. Wow, that's great. Uh, 60 experience and novice pants. I'll take it. Delightful. Let's go ahead and click okay. I gotta be honest with you here. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna kill Every monster I see with kindness, they're going to look at the smile and just like combust. They're going to spontaneously combust because my character is so happy. Seriously, she is such in a good mood. Super, super happy in a good mood. So, Whee! I'm so happy! That's what she's saying. She's like, I'm so happy. All right, well, you know what? Before we get going on our first quest, let's take a look at a couple things. Right off the bat, I see something called teleport crystals. I have a feeling it might teleport you to different areas on the map. Uh, but one thing I like to do right when I start any awesome online game, I, I really want to check my basic controls. So let's take a look at what we have here. On the interface, on the GUI, the graphical user interface screen, uh, top left of my screen, uh, I have my character name. It looks like I have 100 out of 100 health, 100 out of 100 weight capacity. Uh, oops. Okay. Is that mana? Is that? I thought that was mana. Okay, I could be wrong. Uh, and then that's me again. And then on the very top right, we have um, our mini map. I guess I might be able to put like a marker or something. Let's see. If, ooh. Oh, so if you actually click on the mini map with the marker, it actually automatically runs you. Uh, I'm running there automatically, which is great. Oh, look, there's another quest as well. Cool stuff. Good to know. Uh, uh oh, so we are officially out in the dangerous countryside here. We're outside of the city. Before we actually kill anything, let's just again take a look um, at the bottom uh, bottom of the screen here. On the bottom left, we have our chat window. We have uh, combine. We have party, soulmates, clan, find party. Looks like if you hit combine, everything kind of comes up on the left side of the screen. For some reason, there's a tax rate in this game. Tax rate of Alpen is currently 13%. Etc. Etc. Interesting stuff. Uh, looks like there's a whole currency in this game, which is pretty sweet. Uh, on the bottom right, we have our hotbar. F1, F2, F3, F4. Looks like this might be digging. Okay, fishing. Cool. So there's some uh, different activities besides just killing monsters, which is always a good thing. On our hotbar, one is attack, two is item pickup, three is beginner's health potion, four is beginner's mana potion, uh, five is bash, six is ar arrow strike. Okay. So, again, some, some beginner stuff. Uh, this is new. We have up here, we have item mall, Facebook. That's interesting. Um, game options. Community. Cool. Ooh, find a new soulmate. Okay, this could be a dating service as well. Who knows? Encyclopedia. Okay. Extras menu. Guild. I am not in a guild because I'm way too cool for that. I'm just I'm called hipster. I'm a hipster, so I don't need to be in a guild. Uh, quest log. Again, we have one quest. Cool, good to know. Uh, I guess if we click on this, maybe it'll give us more deep. Oh! Ooh, that's something new. So, there you go. You can click. If you go to Quest like you click on it, it actually takes you exactly where you need to go. Very cool. Very cool beans. Hey! Okay, no pun intended. Um, and underneath the Quest, we have Skill Book. Again, not a lot of skills yet. Arrow Strike and Bash. Cool. Uh, one more thing here. Or two more things. Inventory. Obviously, inventory is important. We have Equipment, uh, Avatar Costume. 
And I'm guessing character might be the first one. Character profile, which is going to be C. Ooh, what's this mini-map thing here? Oops. Okay, character uh, character profile. Again, I'm kind of a noob still, but there's my there's my girl. Cool stuff, so. Okay, I guess these are young wolves. They, oh yeah, they kind of look like young wolves. Wow. Let's, let's fight them, see what happens. <laughs> I, just, I just used Bash. Bash is pretty good. Wow. Uh, some stuff dropped as well. 25 gold, a D rank regent. Right click, see what happens. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try a special attack move on this guy. I'm gonna try arrow strike. I know I don't have an arrow, so that's probably not gonna work, but let's try it anyway. Yeah, I need an arrow for that. Duh. My bad. I'm a noob. Um, well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and hit Bash then. I'll hit Bash and I'll attack. Cool. So Bash is our basic power move. Good to know. So you kind of have to stand on the loot, though. You can't, like, pick it up from far away, it seems like. That's that's okay. Again, we have to kill a total of five, so three more to go. Let's do this. Okay, well, our task, our first quest has been completed, and we're going to head back uh, and turn it in and get some experience for it. I have a feeling uh, doing quests in this game is going to be the quickest way to level up your character. Now, right off the bat, uh, there is PvP in this game. There's faction PvP. I obviously believe you have to be a much higher level to even get into that, but I want to hit level 10 as fast as possible. I think I'm going to go um, Spear Warrior. That's my goal, so that's the goal. We'll see what happens. I need to go ahead and find... Where's... Uh, maybe let's go... Let's Okay, click on Quest Log. Let's go back to Instructor Nimi. I do like that feature. I do like that. Oh, there we go. Just click on that, and it's going to take us right there. That's awesome. Oh, wow. And obviously, when you have a quest to turn in, it looks like a, a, a red exclamation point is going to be uh, going to let you know that. So, cool. Okay. Congratulations, Ripper. Whoa, what's this? Cool, so it looks like uh, a premium item post box was sent to me. Purchase item, okay, so it looks like the purchase item has been stored in the inventory. Let's check this out. Now, I do believe there is microtransactions in this game. There must be an, uh, a store that, well, there's the item mall. Uh, I believe if we go to the item mall, we can actually purchase, um, you know, special uh, costumes and equipment upgrading and whatnot. What, there's vehicles? What? Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Blood wheels. Wow, cool. Very cool stuff. Okay, that's something new. I did not know that. Again, I guess that's why it's all—it's called first impressions. Uh, I'm learning just like you guys here. But okay, well, let's let's recap what As the Two is all about. Um, As the Two Evolution is a free-to-play MMORPG. It is the successor to Game Campus's popular As The Story. There was an As The One, if you guys didn't know that. As The Two sets players in a time of uneasy peace after the events of the As The Story, when the three gods divided the realm into three opposing factions. I'm guessing once we hit level 10, maybe we'll be able to choose a faction. I have a feeling the three factions will be fighting against each other. There has been a graphics overhaul. There's more classes to choose from. There's more in-depth item customization, as well as there's a hardcore PvP system. Also, you can get married in this game. There's actually an advanced soulmate system uh, as well. So that's something maybe we'll look into. I think my girlfriend might get mad at me if I try to get married, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, this Is this like a virtual Vegas? Who knows? Jumping and swimming abilities have been added. I believe you can fish as well. Okay, so there are multiple PvP modes. Uh, you basically have the ability to conquer cities for server-wide benefits. Maybe that's where the tax stuff comes in. Who knows? Uh, there is the soulmate system. You can choose another player to accompany you for the greater part of your adventures and receive extra questing benefits. Uh, obviously, the character customization uh, has been improved as well. You can do a lot more with that. Now, uh, in terms of classes, three main classes with specializations for each. We have Archer, Bow or Crossbow. We have Mage, Attack, Support or Healing. And Warrior. We have one-handed sword, two-handed sword or spear, uh, which is great. So, uh, again, more customizations uh, for you guys. If this is your type of game, check out As The Two. It is free to play. There is microtransactions as well. You can do some cosmetic customizations uh, to your character. Uh, I really need to get going here with uh, leveling up. Let's find another quest to do. There's got to be something around here somewhere. All right, well, our second quest has been completed. I'm going to get these awesome boots, way better than the construction boots I have now. 
hopefully uh, my trainer lady will keep giving us some cool gear. We can kind of build up my character a little bit with better gear and then maybe get a weapon. All right, well, I am going to progress with my quest. My goal is to get to level 10 so I can actually start to do some kind of PvP and get my uh, character customization uh, a little bit more advanced. Either It's either going to be an archer or it's going to be uh, my spear warrior. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. This is my first impressions of Asda 2. The game is free to play. Uh, link in the description if you want to download the game for free and try it out. And we also have more information here at MMORPG.com. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I will see you guys next week. Okay, adios.